Let S be the set of real numbers that can be re represented as repeating decimals of the form 0 0.A, B, C, and repeating, where A, B, C are distinct. Find the sum of the elements of S. Well, one thing to note is that the, the numbers of this form are exactly the numbers of this form, A, B, C over 999. And the way to see that is to multiply this by 1,000 and subtract them. I'll show you. Let x equal 0 point a, b, c repeating. Then 1,000x is a, b, c point a, b, c repeating. Subtracting this, 999x is equal to a, b, c because this just cancels this out completely. And x is equal to a, b, c over 999. Where, where a, b, c is, uh, a, b, c, a, b, and c represent digits, not, not variables. So this isn't a times b times c, but it's a, b, c, where a, b, c is a number. OK, that's, that's a nice result. So we can, instead of counting these decimals, we can just count these fractions. And uh, let's see. A, and, a, b, and c have to be distinct. And let, let's count the number of numbers. A, B, C, such that A, B, and C are distinct. Well, this is fairly easy to calculate, since we can just take, well, for A, we have, we have uh, 10 possible values. For B, we have 9, since, uh, since B cannot be whatever digit A was. And for C, we have 8. So this totals to 720. And so we need to find the sum of the elements of s. So we're going to have to sum all of these. Hmm, how do we do that? One approach is to observe that for every number, say a, point a, b, c repeating, there is another number for every x, for all x. There exists another number y, such that y is equal to point, say, d, e, f repeating such that x plus y is equal to 0.999 repeating, which is equal to 1. Now, why is this the case? Well, if you imagine if you had 0.99999 repeating and you subtract this from a, b, c repeating, since a, b, and c are distinct, like if you, if you subtract this, if you subtract this, then you're going to get something d, e, f, where d, e, and f are also distinct because a, b, and c are distinct. So since D, E, and F are also distinct, this must be in the set. So instead of adding these individually, we can add pairs of them that add to 1, because it's much easier since they sum to 1 rather than summing all these digits. And so we have 720, we have 720 total elements in S, but each of them can be paired with a complement to sum to 1. So the total number. The number of elements in S is equal to 720 divided by 2, which is 360.